Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you about public transportation in Hampton Roads. If you're a new student here at ODU, perhaps you don't know about how easy and convenient our public transportation is in Norfolk. It's very easy to use and I'd like to tell you about the different ways to get around Norfolk today. First of all, of course, we have a bus system. Most students need to use the bus at some point to get around the city. We also have the Tide. The Tide is our light rail, which is like a train. It only runs in downtown Norfolk, but it will take you to some really wonderful places, like the MacArthur Center, or you can go to Waterside with it. It's very nice and very convenient for getting around downtown. Finally, we have the Elizabeth River Ferry, which is very helpful if you're trying to get from Norfolk to Portsmouth. It will take you across the water to Portsmouth and there you can see the exciting and fun downtown of Portsmouth. To find out more information about how to use public transportation in Hampton Roads, you should visit the Hampton Roads Transit website, which is www.gohrt.com. This is the website. It's extremely easy to use. You'll notice right away over here they have a trip planner. What's great about the trip planner is that you can put in your address, where you live, or you can start at ODU, and then you can type in where you need to go, and if you press Get Directions, it will tell you how to get there. Whether you should take the bus, the tide, or the ferry, what's the easiest way to go, what routes on the bus you should take. So if you're not sure how to get, say, from your apartment to ODU, you can use the trip planner. You can also click up here and learn more about the bus or the tide, or you can learn about driving if you have a car and want to learn easiest ways to get around, or you can learn about the ferry. You can also go over here to routes and you can choose which city you live in to find the best bus routes, where you could park your car, for instance, and ride to work or school in the morning. There's all kinds of information here in services. The Hampton Roads Transit does more than just provide these basic transportation services. They also have many other transportation services depending on where you live. You can find out how much tickets cost and where you can buy them. And many, many other frequently asked questions, how to ride the bus, anything you need to know about transportation, you can find on this website. Let's start over here with routes. If we click on Norfolk Routes, we can find out how to travel around Norfolk. Now when we go here, obviously the trip planner is the easiest thing to do, but we also have the option to look here at these routes and they tell us where they go. If you notice, Route 4 is one of the bus routes that goes through downtown Norfolk and ODU. So if you're looking to travel from ODU to, say, the MacArthur Center, this would be a good route to take. Another one that our students often take is Route 16. Route 16 will actually connect you to the Tide, which is really nice. Let's look at Route 16 now. If you look at Route 16, it gives you a map. You can see that it starts here at ODU, and then it takes you down Collie Avenue, all the way to the EVMC Fort Norfolk Station, which is the beginning of the Tide. If you look here, there's a list of times what time it will pick you up. This is during the weekday. And then you can also see that the times are a little bit different on Saturdays. So you can plan your bus trip. Sundays the time is also a little bit different. But that way you know exactly what time you need to be at the bus stop to get to your place on time. And usually the buses in Norfolk run on time. Not always, but they're usually pretty close. Now you can also go back up here and let's for instance look at the light rail. If we look at the light rail, we see a picture of the tide there and we can find a map with more information on each system and all of the stations are listed. Let's look at the map and schedule. This is the map. These are the end stations, EVMC Fort Norfolk and then it goes to Newtown Road and we can see all the stations in between with the general times of when we can expect the tide to arrive. It usually comes about every 10 minutes in Norfolk. 
maybe more often uh, during the weekday when people are writing it to work and back to home, but it gives you a very clear picture of when you can ride the tide. Finally, we can also look over here at the ferry. Now when you click on the ferry button, I don't know why, but it says error 404. But it's very easy because if you go over here, it says Elizabeth River Ferry, and you can click on that instead. You can see a picture of the ferry. It's really very nice. Even if you never need to go to Portsmouth, it's just a fun thing to do on a Saturday when you have nothing else to do. You can get on the water. If the weather's nice, it's just a really pleasant ride. Very short. You can see where the ferry takes you. There's a map and we can look at the ferry schedule. The ferry takes you around the Elizabeth River. It starts in Norfolk and it stops at two different places in Portsmouth. You can see there's the North Landing Ferry Dock and there's the High Street Landing Ferry Dock. Okay? It usually runs, as you can see, on a 30-minute schedule. So every 30 minutes you can catch the ferry. Okay, so that means, for instance, that if you were trying to catch the ferry from Norfolk, you would start at Waterside, and it will always be on the 15 or the 45, and then it will take you to High Street and then to North Landing. Okay, very, very easy. So you never have to wait very long for the ferry at all. Of course, there are different schedules in the summer. Sometimes it comes at different times. Sometimes it comes a little less frequently in the summer. But there you have an idea of how you can take the ferry. It's extremely easy to use. Now, how do you get a bus pass? Fortunately for you, as an ODU student, you don't have to pay for a bus pass. It's free, actually. They have a free go pass that lasts for an entire year. And you can pick it up at ODU. If you look here, you can see that I've put a black box around the places that you can get the bus pass. You can go to the Office of Parking and Transportation Services, which is in the Elkhorn Avenue garage, or you can go to the University Card Center in Web Center. Most students go to the Web Center, to the Card Center, to pick up their card. You have to show your student ID in order to get a bus pass, but as long as you show your student ID, they will give you a bus pass that lasts for a whole year. It's very easy to use. I hope this presentation has made it clear to you how easy it is to use public transportation in Norfolk. It's so easy to get around, and we really do have a wonderful public transportation system. I hope you will use it. Thank you.